If you make your coffee in the morning using an automatic drip machine and store-bought pre-ground coffee, you're making your coffee all wrong. The biggest single problem, probably, with automatic drip machines is that their coffee water is not hot enough. Water that's too cool will result in improper extraction. The second biggest problem, if you're buying pre-ground coffee at the supermarket, you're pretty much guaranteed to be getting stale coffee. And that hot plate that sort of radiates heat externally will change the chemistry of the coffee and give it that skunked, nasty diner taste that we're all familiar with. Man, that looks black as tar. Now I'd like to show you what I think the right way is to make drip coffee. The first thing is your water. If the water supply in your area just isn't that high quality, you'll probably want to use a Brita or some other filtration. You want to heat your water up to boiling, and then you're going to take it just off of a boil to get it to around 200 degrees. I can't stress enough how important it is to freshly grind your coffee. So we have here some of our coffee. Uh, it was roasted three days ago. That's good. I think uh, drip coffee is best on its second or third day after roasting. So you want to grind about five tablespoons worth, or again, about 40 grams worth. Pour some of your hot water through your paper filter. I like Trader Joe's filters. That'll heat up the filter cone, and it'll wash any residual paper flavor out of the paper so that it doesn't go into your cup. Then you're gonna put the ground coffee into the paper filter. Pour a little bit of your water into that. Fresh coffee beans, when they come in contact with hot water, will release all of the carbon dioxide that they have stored. Stale beans won't do that because they've already off-gassed all of their carbon dioxide. So when coffee blooms, it's a sign that you're doing the right thing and using fresh beans. And then stir it around to make a very thick sludge. You're not trying to make a lot of coffee right now. You just want to get all of the coffee grounds nice and soaked in hot water. It's a sort of pre-infusing. After your coffee has bloomed, you can pour lots of water in so to, to fill up the filter cone and stir, 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 stir. Moving it around is really important. It's the only way to guarantee that you're getting everything you want out of your high quality coffee beans. After you've done that, you can just let it be. All of this is probably taking you two to four extra minutes in the morning, but I think it totally changes your day.